welcome back to SciTie Tech. In this video, I want to do a teardown of this old digital camera, and I'm curious to see how it works, and I want to see if there's any components that are worth salvaging. Let's get started. First, what I'm going to do is examine the camera, locate all of the screws, open up this part, and rip it off since I don't need it. And there we go. Next, I'm going to go and remove all of the screws. Basically, see a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw. And there we go. All of the screws are now removed. And now I'm going to go and open up the housing. And there, the front housing came off very easily. The back housing is a little bit more difficult. And there, I got it removed. Now let's go a little deeper. Now what I'm going to do is remove the LCD, detach the ribbon cables, remove this circuit, and there, now remove the LCD. Oh, how very interesting. It comes in two pieces. This part here must be the LCD part, and the other part must be the backlight. Okay, remove the ribbon cable. Remove the backlight. Hmm, how interesting. It has a polarized filter. I can probably use that in a future project. Maybe use just the backlight to use for something else, or combine the two together and use the LCD as an LCD. Not really sure what I'm going to do with this one, but it can be very interesting to figure out. So what I'm going to do now is just put them together so that way I don't lose any of the pieces. Pull the ribbon cable and remove the LCD. And then take the LCD and keep it to the side. And now open up this back panel to access the other components. And there, I have right here the sensor. And this right here is the IR cut filter. If this camera worked, I would have just simply removed this IR cut filter and used this as a full spectrum camera. But I'm not interested in doing that since it's broken. So what I'm going to do is salvage the sensor for gold. And there, the sensor is now removed. And as you can see, the ribbon cable contains gold and so does the sensor. And taking a closer look, you can see that almost all of the ribbon cables contain gold. Looking at the lens, Looks very interesting, but I have no use for it. But the ribbon cable may contain gold, so I'll take that. And this right here is a DC motor that controls the zooming of the lens. I'm simply going to break that off. And there, I have a little DC motor, which can be used for a future project. These parts here are useless, so I throw these away, and all of the ribbon cables contain gold, so I can definitely keep the ribbon cables. And looking at the circuit, all of the parts where the ribbon cables connect to is also containing gold. And some surface mount components may be useful to use for future projects. And now I'm going to remove the flash capacitor, and unfortunately I broke it, so now it's useless. You can see different parts here where it may contain gold, so this is also worth salvaging. And as you can see, the only part that's worth keeping is the LCD and the DC motor. And the circuit with the ribbon cables contain gold. And there you have it. Now you know what's inside of an old digital camera and what kind of parts that are worth salvaging and how to salvage for precious metals. Thank you for watching SciTechTech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTechTech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.